What's up guys, Derek with Divine AV here and we have an awesome Tech with a Tech episode today. Let's just jump right into this. So the only specs I'm gonna give you our weight. Um, as we know with speakers in our industry, size does matter. So got a good two more pounds on this Arc versus this Play Bar. So yeah, we've already heard these guys. I, I truly believe the Arc blows the Play Bar out of the water. And this has been my favorite personal sound bar for the past seven years since it came out. So yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys a direct sound comparison between the Play Bar and the Sonos Arc. So yeah, before we get right into this, I just wanted to ask you guys, leave us a like, please consider subscribing on this video. And I'll just uh, skip all that boring unboxing stuff and shoot you right on over to Warren so we can get right into a little bit of specs and a lot of sound tests. Let's get it going. Hey guys, Warren, Divine AV. Let's get right into it. The Sonos Arc. This soundbar is absolutely amazing. It's a surround sound object-based Dolby Atmos technology and it actually works. Derek and I have been sitting here in the room and really enjoying this soundbar and we are huge advocates of full home theater systems. We're not huge fans of soundbars in general, but that guy right there is truly amazing. All right, guys. So Dolby Atmos technology, it's an object-based surround sound technology. In this particular product, it's using reflection technology. So you have 11 individual amplifiers and 11 individual drivers, eight woofers and three tweeters. It has a driver here, for example, that reflects off of the sidewall and goes right back to the listener to create your surround left. Same with your surround right over there. It's got two upward facing drivers which reflect off the ceiling to give you wind, rain, helicopters, that sort of thing. And then it's got your front facing drivers which do your rears and your front stage. Really fantastic. Now, to get this full true Dolby Atmos surround sound technology, you need a newer TV like one of the new Samsungs. This is the 85 inch Q70. Um, or you need a TV that has HDMI 2.1. You don't necessarily need HDMI 2.1 if the TV is at least eARC compatible. eARC stands for Enhanced Audio Return Channel, hence the name of the bar being the audio return channel, the ARC. Um, essentially, that will send the Dolby Atmos content to the bar. That'll give you that full surround sound experience. And in the Sonos application, it'll literally read Dolby Atmos when you're playing a Dolby Atmos track. You will need to play Dolby Atmos content from Voodoo or a Blu-ray disc or something like that in order to get that true experience. It is very good at doing standard surround like 5.1, that sort of thing. If you don't have eARC, don't worry about it. Use your old TV. You'll still get kind of a 7.1 simulated experience. Um, I would recommend adding a subwoofer with this product. Uh, just like we said with the play bar before as well they need that low end bass frequency extension so look at the new sonos sub it's also an awesome product okay um we're going to get straight into a demonstration here we are going to compare it to the sonos play bar the only reason we're doing that is for those of you who have the play bar or maybe considering one that's on sale somewhere it's about to be discontinued and you want to upgrade to the sonos arc it is a huge improvement sonos has done a very good job uh, developing a much improved product let's get into it guys Alright guys, we got our seats, we're chilled and relaxed. Um, for those of you who didn't notice, uh, we have our $1,500 RC64 as a stand. We can sell those <laughs> if you really want that nice wood grain stand. But yeah, I got the reference mic placed over there. We're going to go ahead and kick this bad boy off with the uh, Sonos Play Bar, and then we'll switch on over to the Arc, and Warren is going to point between the two. Let's get rock and rolling. Just to show me what's on the other side of innovation. No apologies, my baby. I don't tell you, cause I'm feeling so. 
Alright guys, how about that jam session? That was awesome. Comment down below with which one you like more, the play bar versus the arc. Uh, we love the highs that came out of that arc. The play bar did have a little bit uh, better lows, maybe 5%, 10% better. We attribute that to the bigger chamber of the, of the play bar itself. But the arc, we believe, had those better highs in there. Let us know what you think. Um, for those of you that saw this screen going here, this is the uh, the roll through screen that the arc will do when you set to its input. So it's cool, very modern artwork that will just flip through the different pictures that it has that's already set inside of it. You don't need to access any of those settings. It will just go ahead and roll through those. All right, but let's get right into the, uh, the Dolby Atmos sound test here. So I'm going to go click over to our Voodoo. Remember, you do need eARC to provide Atmos to the soundbar. But So I have the play bar hooked up via optical cable, so that's just going to give me that 5.1 signal. And then I'm going to have the arc hooked up to the HDMI port that's going to give me that uh, eARC symbol for Dolby Atmos. So I'm going to go ahead and play Unfold on the uh, Sonos play bar right now, and then we're going to play the exact same clip on the arc after that. So yeah, let's get right into that. Let's kill the lights. Now we're going to go ahead and click on over to the arc. Alright guys, that's where that bad boy shines right there. That is night and day difference. That is a beautiful thing. That arc, uh, Warren I, as you said, as you said before, we can't believe it works. It creates Dolby Atmos. That thing sounds amazing. So yeah, let's uh comment down below, see what you we want to see what you guys think of that, the difference between those two as well. Smash the subscribe button, give us a like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play one more uh, clip on the Sonos Arc so we can hear that one more time. And then more and I will give you our final tech with a tech thoughts on this bad boy. Let's get rock and rolling. All right, guys, let's get into the DAV final thoughts. What do you think, Derek? Blown away. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Sonos, as always, I've always expected them to set that bar high, and they have, again, set this bar very high. Uh, Warren and I have been huge advocates of the Dolby Atmos. For the past, like, six years, we've installed maybe 1,500 Dolby Atmos systems, and since, since the get-go, I've never seen a bar be able to replicate Dolby Atmos, and this thing, you know, hats off to yeah, my yeah, friends. For like, sure. They did very, very, very good at, at Sonos. Yeah, for sure. Very impressed. For sure. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I absolutely love it. You know, it's it, you definitely need the proper environment if you really want to get an Atmos experience. So if, you're, if you have a, a little room that you want to turn into a theater and you're not going to do a projection setup and everything, um, throw a TV on the wall, put this bar up. You could consider using uh, the Play 1s as rears, but you really don't even necessarily need it. You know, that bar 
in a proper environment with a sub, I mean, it'd be a very good Dolby Atmos experience. Like, let me show you something really fast, guys. Like, we're in an actual theater. So these side surrounds over here, my brother and I literally were filming that last scene, and we actually looked at the sidewall thinking, like, wait a minute, is this speaker on? Yep. It's that good. You know, it's, it's extremely cool. Um, and so, you know, great job. The only thing that I would like to see is a little bit more volume. They put a limit on it, you know, so you don't actually get any distortion. Um, but it actually gets pretty loud, and it's a good experience. Oh, yeah, yeah well, I mean, Warren, we're used to home theaters, and we're used to cranking these things up to 95-plus decibels in the room. Yeah. Uh, we did check with the decibel reader. This thing is picking up about 87 in our mm -hmm. room. So, yeah, it is definitely putting out a lot of volume. Uh, we just, like, we, we've damaged our eardrums from, from, <laughs> <laughs> from all the music and the speakers yeah. over the years, for sure. Um, but yeah, remember we didn't have a sub hooked up with this. I would definitely consider getting a sub to pair along with it if you want that extra boom boom. Uh, but yeah, out of the box, that thing is amazing. We love it. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys, if you want one of these sound bars, go ahead and give us a call. You know, our number is in the description down below, or you can shoot us an email. We will be glad to help you with one of these and we'll give you free shipping in the U.S. Um, and... Oh yeah, last thing, uh, guys, I do have uh, a few of these sold already. I've got about five of them that I've sold, so I will be, um... Or both Warren and I will be doing some installs on these so you can see them in some pe people's houses and also do the same demos in some houses so you don't feel like this is a you know fudged replication of us you know trying to show off the sound bar yeah. in this environment. I want to try it in some different environments so we will be doing some sound testing there. Um, but yeah, you want to you want to lead us out for sure. Um, if you guys are not a subscriber, please smash the subscribe button. I know we keep pushing out throughout the video, but it actually helps people find us. Uh, so when you subscribe and you hit that like button, it helps people find us in the algorithm so we can keep making more of these videos. Um, we want to get the content out there and we want to give you guys the best demonstrations of new products that we possibly can. So right. enjoy our other videos. Got a bunch of custom installations and cool stuff coming your way. We'll see you guys soon.